Hi, it's Kyle from Bite Wing Games, and today we're taking a look at how to play Hot Lead. Hot Lead is a game for two to five players that plays in about 20 minutes. It's designed by Reiner Knizia and is being published by us here at Bite Wing Games. In Hot Lead, you are leading undercover investigations against five criminal activities. But investigate too aggressively, they'll smell a rat and go dark. The point of the game is to win and you win by having the most points. Points are earned by collecting criminal activities. Collect three of a type and earn bonus points. Let's take a look inside the box. The game comes with 55 investigator cards, ranging from one to 55. 55 criminal cards in five different suits, and five promotion stars. To set up the game, shuffle the investigator cards and deal 11 cards to each player. Shuffle the criminal cards and place them face down in the center of the table. At the start of each round, display a number of cards equal to the number of players. Each player looks at all their cards and selects one investigator card. All players simultaneously reveal their cards. The player with the highest card wins the topmost criminal activity card, and so on in descending order. Discard all of the laid investigator cards and place new criminal activity cards out, just like you did at the first. Players will display their collected criminal activity cards in front of them in face-up piles. The first player to collect two of a kind of a particular activity earns the star token, which is worth five points at the end of the game. Cards are awarded top-down, so if two players complete a set of two at the same time, whichever player had played the higher investigator card will end up winning that five points. If a player ever collects four of a kind, they have investigated too hard and they discard all cards of that activity that they have acquired. The game ends after 10 rounds, meaning all players will be left with one card in their hand. On to the scoring. You will score points for each of the criminal activity cards that you have collected. You will also score 10 points for having a set of three, or 10 points for having all five of the types. Let's look at an example. In this case, Amanda earned 25 points for her card values, 10 points for having three greens, and 10 points for having all five colors. Don't forget about the five points for the orange star. That makes an even 50 points. And that's the game. For a two player game, make the following change. When laying criminal activity cards, lay three cards instead of two. The player who laid the higher investigator card can select from the top or second from the top card. The other player then selects one of the two remaining cards. The final card is just discarded. Well, Kyle, are there additional cards that will hopefully be added in with a stretch goal? Yes, yes, there are. The Informer and the Dead End card. These add a lot more variability to the game. They will be added in with the Criminal Activity cards. If you reveal an Informer or a Dead End, you'll continue to reveal cards until you reveal one of the regular Criminal Activity cards. So you could end up with quite a few cards on one location. Whoever wins that card earns all of those cards. So what do these cards do? The informers are worth one to five points, and they also act as a wild type of a criminal activity. For example, if I collect this red two, I also collect the informer, which now counts as a red. So I'm earning seven points and also two red cards all in one turn. And that can be a good or a bad thing, depending on if those two new cards make me have four cards and end up busting for investigating too aggressively. The dead end just count as negative points. So they'll be their own depressing negative pile just off to the side of all of your other criminal activities. And now you know how to play hot lead. Thanks for watching. Until next time.